while Sweden is showing the light forward, saying, look over here, folks, only nation right now that doesn't appear to be suffering from a second wave because we let this thing run its course. Tony Fauci wants to triple down, not just on masks. It just keeps getting better. Take a look at this. If you really want perfect protection of your mucosal surfaces, just for your, your, your audience, Jen, as you very well know, you have mucosa in the nose, mucosa in the mouth, but you also have mucosa in the eye. And that's one of the things that, you know, theoretically, you should protect all the mucosal surfaces. So if you have goggles or an eye, fa or an eye shield, you should use it. I mean, uh, it's not universally recommended, but if you really want to be complete, you should probably use it if you can. I should use it, but you're not using it. In fact, we looked up Tony Fauci and goggles online. You won't find a single photo anywhere of him wearing goggles. At what point are you going to recognize this isn't about your health? It certainly isn't about his health. How about we do what the monkey does instead of what the monkey says? Because that's what's going on here. And I know people are saying, and I, we all said it, right? My God. Is this where we're going? Is really everybody going to be wearing goggles now? Is there going to be like a Texas goggle mandate? Is that what's going to happen? Oh, please, no. And I think a lot of people are saying, I think, I hope, I pray, as I try and figure out what's going on in my country and how quickly we'll turn in our neighbor for not wearing a mask, please, God, don't let me see my neighbor start wearing goggles or I'm going to lose all hope. But I have a little bit different spin on this. The truth is, is Tony's right. He's right, and he just verified something that I've reported on, and I'm currently in Twitter jail because I said it. Masks don't work. They don't work by themselves. They can't work because it's not, as you're pointing out, and he well knows because he won't wear it himself, it's not covering all of your mucosal areas. This is the point I've been making. You're breathing. It's coming out, but you're touching it all the time. If you touch your underwear this much and rub your eyes, you'd be having all sorts of problems. What do you call it? Conjunctivitis all over your eyes. You can't leave this open and, and, and cover this. It doesn't get you there. My whole point is telling people who are over the age of 65 that maybe have COPD or heart disease that masks protect you is dangerous. Tony Fauci has been putting people's lives at risk. Not me. Not me saying the mask, does, the mask doesn't work. The people telling you you were safe wearing one. Now all of those elderly people that had pre-existing conditions, like the famous teacher in Arizona, can recognize, oh, my God, Tony knew the whole time that if I, I, I should have been, my spouse or wife should have been wearing goggles, she would have lived. Well, yeah, duh. Masks don't do it. Because if they did, people that work with viruses wouldn't be wearing this. People who work with viruses for a living don't even wear, that's not even a hazmat suit. It's a reverse pressure suit so that the air can only move out of the suit, not in. That is what you wear when you are truly trying to stop from being in contact with a virus. So no, I wasn't lying when I said masks don't work. They're not going to protect you enough. Please be careful. Fauci is lying to you. Now he's admitting he's been lying to you. But here's what it comes down to. Are we going to put on, you know, reverse pressure hazmat suits, every one of us? Is that the future of the United States of America? Because that is the only way we can avoid reaching herd immunity. It's the only way we avoid ever getting infected for the rest of our lives. Say goodbye to the oxygen. Say goodbye to your hike up the mountain. Say goodbye to your rafting, your bicycling, your skydiving, or whatever exciting thing you like to do. Say goodbye to swimming at the beach. This boy in the bubble future is your only way forward. So don't yell at me about a mask. Don't yell at me about goggles. If I don't see you in a reverse pressure hazmat suit, you're only lying to yourself. And we don't believe in lying here at the high wire. We believe in a sustainable future, one that allows us to walk freely on the earth the way we did just a few short months ago. If you like that clip, then be sure to check out our live broadcast of the high wire every Thursday morning at 11 a.m. Pacific time. You can watch it on Facebook, iTunes, and Twitter. We'll see you there.